All right, this is going to be an unboxing of the Final Mouse ULX. And uh, just came yesterday. Didn't have time to open it up yesterday. I know that sounds crazy, but that's life. So it came in this little box. Almost looks like something you'd get off eBay, but I don't care how it's packaged. Uh, just want to open it up. Get my first look at it. So this is how it's packed. Got some extras in here. Final Mouse said they were going to send uh, a gift to us. So looks like that might be what this is. Let's take a look at that. I want to make sure my camera's lined up first. Yeah, it looks okay, I guess. All right, let's see what's in here. Got a little, little seal on the back. We'll break the seal. Not really a great tool to use for this, but it'll do. light as expected and uh, as you can see my light in here is not great but you'll probably be able to see anyway let's see what else we got in the box cable a little quick start guide or manual whatever you want to call it put that under there uh, USB-C to USB I guess that's A the big one, whatever that is. A uh, little manual here. Uh, it goes through mouse setup. What I'm going to do is, I'll take a quick look at this, I guess, but, you know, because I'm old. But uh, I'll get on the, I have uh, Final Mouse Discord up here, and they have instructions on how to download the latest firmware and, you know, do the, the web app also. Uh, but, as for first impressions, slide's pretty nice. It's really, really light. Buttons seem nice. Easy to click. The scroll wheel, I guess I get used to it. I prefer a scroll wheel that's nice and crisp and takes a little bit of effort to move it so that you can get one click at a time. This one is, I'll hold it up to my microphone. I'm, I'm clicking it one click at a time now, right next to the mic. And you can barely hear it. Um, I prefer the detents to be you know, more obvious than that, but I think it's fine as long as it works fine. Um, it looks, you know, I have, probably medium size hands. This is the, the medium, obviously. The skates on the back are, are nice. It's nice and light. This is my uh, G-Wolves uh, HTX 4K next to it. Um, about the same size and kind of the same look. Um, the final mouse is a little bit lighter, but I'm telling you the G-Wolves this G-Wolves is already 41 grams, so it's pretty light to begin with. And from what I understand, this one is coming in at about 38. I'll put it on the scale in a second. But uh, not, a, not a huge difference between these two. Um, this one, it's okay. It's the precision and the, the timing doesn't seem to be, you know, the speed is not top-notch on this G-Wolves. But for form factor and, and feel and everything, it's nice. I can already tell the skates are much better on this one, on the final mouse. But could, these could be worn a little bit too. Um, but this G-Wolves, the battery only lasts four or five days max. So that's my main complaint about the G-Wolves. Um, and of course the final mouse will be better in, in every regard. Let me go get my scale. And uh, we'll throw it on the scale here. 
see what it looks like. Uh, so let me make sure that's. Let's see. Can you can you see that? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the numbers or not, but I zeroed it out, put it on there. Uh, 38.1. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 38.1, which is pretty much what everybody else is getting. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's light enough. Yeah, it's probably not coming in as light as they said, but whoop de doo um, Let's see what's in here. It's probably uh, some of the grips or something. The whatchamacallits. Uh, well, eventually I'll be able to get into this. The tab doesn't stick up, which is makes it hard to get out of there. Yeah, those are, those are the the uh, the grips for the side. I probably won't use those because I really like the way that this has holes on the side too. I, I prefer that because then I can sort of use the holes to gauge where my fingers are, and you know it's not going to slip. So uh, anyway. That's the unboxing. What I'm going to do next is uh, I'll switch over to the computer here and uh, install the software and see if there's a firmware update for it and install that. Uh, excuse the wide monitor here. Um, I'm on the xpanel.finalmouse.com and when I took the mouse out of the box, I, I went in here and clicked on firmware and it's, it's already up to date. Um, mine came on November 21st, 2023, and it came with the latest firmware already, so don't have to update that, but I'll just take you through this real quick here. You just go to xpanel.finalmouse.com, and I'm assuming you need an internet connection to be able to open this page to fool with these things in here. Uh, maybe somebody will figure out a way to run it locally, but uh, for right now, it looks like you need an internet connection which is kind of weird to use mouse software. But like I said, I'm sure somebody will figure out a way to run this locally. I don't know. Uh, but there's just different pages in here. Overview just shows you setup of the mouse and you know, I've got lift off distances, one millimeter motion sinks on, polling rates 2000. Uh, it's charging right now. That's why this bar is doing this. I have it plugged in physically. Uh, the mouse came with 50% charge, which makes sense. So I'm just charging it up. Uh, DPI, you can switch here. Um, polling rate, you can switch here. Interestingly, it says uh, 8,000 hertz is under testing, but I always use 2,000 because you know I don't want to run a battery down too much, and I don't see much of a benefit going above about 2,000. Having these are nice. So uh, lift-off distance, you can set to one or two millimeters. One seems fine for me. Uh, motion sync, I just leave that on. It came on by default. Uh, if you want to know the default, I think it was 1600 DPI out of the box. Pulling rate was 1000, lift off distance was one millimeter. Motion sync was on by default. Uh, so that's how it comes out of the box. But you can change these things. Wireless signal strength, it's nice to have that. Um, I would say I'm about 10 inches from the dongle right now. So I would expect excellent, but I got a lot of other Wi-Fi stuff in here, so maybe that's part of it. Uh, I guess good is good enough. Uh, the dongle LED, you can set the dongle LED to indicate the battery level, be solid white or be off. And like I said, I showed you this one, firmware is already up to date. So that's kind of a, just a quick overview of the software. Um, I didn't have to do anything. The, the first time I went to xpanel.finalmouse.com, there was a connect button and you have to have the dongle plugged in. Um, I only had the mouse plugged in because I was planning on charging it. And you have to plug the dongle in and turn the mouse on. And then you can click connect and it'll find your ULX. But that's basically all you got to do. Go to this address here. And uh, first time you use it, it'll ask you to connect. And then it comes up with a little box over here and it says ULX dongle. You just click on ULX dongle and then click connect. And then from that point forward, 
I, I put a shortcut on my desktop that just opens this page and it opens to here. Um, from that point forward, you don't have to connect again. I guess it remembers it through cookies or something. So that's a quick overview of it. Just thought you'd want to see the, the software. I thought I was going to get to show you updating the firmware, but uh, it came with the latest. Another interesting tidbit here, it says manufacture date July 12th, 2023. It can't be 12-7, you know, in the, the other date format. It can't be month first. I mean, uh, day first and then month because it's November 22nd. So it's got to be July 12th. And I ordered it on August 1st and waited until November 21st to get it. So how it was manufactured before I even ordered it, and it took me, you know, what's that, almost four months to get it? I don't know. That's kind of weird. How is it July when they didn't even open them up to order until August 1st? So my guess, it could be some flash of the chip or something that's inside it. Um, the sensor or something probably has a manufactured date built into it when the the uh, firmware was burned onto it or something. I don't know, but uh, interesting. Anyway, that's what I've got. I'm going to go play with it and see how it feels. And uh, like I said in the unboxing, I, the only minor nit that I have on it is that I would prefer the, the scroll wheel detents to be more obvious. They're a little weak for my taste. Uh, especially for a brand new mouse. If they weaken up anymore, it's going to be like scrolling mush. So that's about my only complaint. And again, it came in at 38.1 grams on my scale, which is pretty much what everybody's seeing. All right. End of the video. Thanks for watching.